What's happening folks, welcome back to the channel as the starting 11 prediction for tomorrow's game at home against Hearts. We're finally back after the international break, cannot wait to get back uh, to the stadium tomorrow to watch the team. An absolutely brilliant start to the season, haven't conceded a goal so far in the league, a 100% start. The team are playing at a great intensity, um, defending brilliantly. Not conceding a lot of chances, let alone a lot of goals, but also going forward, um, a great spread of goals so far and capped off with that 3-0 win over Rangers before we finished up um, for the international break. Lots to look forward to in this next block of fixtures, starting tomorrow against Hearts, but then we open the Champions League uh, campaign against Slovan Bratislava. Uh, on Wednesday at home as well so lots to look forward to three home games followed by three away games in this next block of fixtures before we come to that October international break um, and I think we're going to find out a lot in these next six games in terms of what we might be able to expect from some of the new signings um, how we're going to find the, the new Champions League format how we can start that can we get off to a good start but first of all uh, it's just about continuing the brilliant start to the league season against Hearts tomorrow. Um, Brendan Rodgers really positive in the pre-match press conference today, um, just talking about the, how they want to keep the, the good mood and the intensity going from the start of the season. He also confirmed that all the players who had doubts around them in terms of Greg Taylor, James Forrest, Alistair Johnston um, have all trained and are all fit and well for tomorrow, which is... Really, really good for us to start this section of the season with a fully fit squad. Um, long may that continue. I think we're going to need that depth. We're going to need the new players uh, to step up and come in at times when the fixtures start picking up once we enter uh, European competition. But so much to look forward to. Uh, and as I say, can't wait to get back to it tomorrow. So Hearts are obviously in a terrible run. They haven't won so far this season. The only game that they didn't lose, in fact, was the 0-0 draw. Uh, at Tynecastle against Rangers on the opening game of the season, haven't won since the eleventh of May, uh, back at the the back end of last season. Obviously, going back to last season, they did cause us some problems. They took six points off us. They beat us at Tynecastle, and they beat us in December at Celtic Park. But this is a different Hearts team, and this is certainly a different Celtic team. Um, the Celtic team's a different animal from the one that Hearts probably faced um in the first half of last season. Um, and as I say, we've got to keep that intensity up and keep that performance level up tomorrow and hopefully we can make it a really long afternoon for Hearts. So let's have a quick look then at how Hearts might line up. Um, now Stephen Naismith doesn't even know his best team so I don't know how I'm meant to guess it but it might look something like this. Craig Gordon's been in goals in recent weeks. Um, they've added James Penrice for Livingston to the team. Craig Halkett's back fit. Stephen, Kingley, Stephen Kingsley's been playing it right back um, after Gerald Taylor who made a good start in the game against Rangers. Um, really faded, he scored their own goal against Dundee um, he didn't even make the squad against Dundee United so I don't know where they're at with him there's no doubt Devlin will be in midfield um, trying to injure people with late tackles um, and they usually play Shankland uh, in that sort of deeper sort of 10 role of Kenneth Vargas up front um, recently I think Vargas has obviously got pace but um, really lacked end product Danda and Mikhail out wide, who knows, it could be it could be two of any four or five players. I think they've got lots of options in terms of uh, Oda, uh, Alan Forrest. They've got lots of players that might play in those positions, but who knows how Hearts are going to line up. As ever, it is all about Celtic. If we can maintain that level that we've shown since the start of the season, as I say, I think it, we can make it a really long, difficult afternoon for Hearts. So let's look at how we might line up. And we'll start in goals as we always do with Kasper Schmeichel. Um, again, first derby, first clean sheet in a derby. Um, hasn't conceded a league goal uh, as it stands so far. I think the team in front of him is def defending brilliantly as a unit collectively, but we saw at the end of the game against Rangers where, again, the game's won, it's in the bag, it's 3-0, we're in stoppage time, um, and Rangers do have a couple of chances, particularly one from McCausland at the back post, but Schmeichel's out to smother it, makes a brilliant save. Um, making himself big in front of McCausland to stop it, keeping his clean sheet. Um, but again, that intensity from the whole team, um, so intent on defending uh, and keeping the ball out of the net, which is really good. It bodes well going forward. There is going to be tougher tests. Um, we're going to concede at some point, of course, but um, the European games will be way more difficult defensively, both for for Casper but also for the team collectively. But started the season brilliantly. Um, I just like having Casper Schmeichel in goals. 
um, football heritage in it when you look in between the Celtic Post and it's Schmeichel uh, there. Back four, Johnston, Carter Vickers, Scales and Taylor. I don't think there's any doubt uh, about any of those positions given that Johnston did train. I know he was injured or came off precautionary uh, when he was away with Canada, uh, tightness in his hamstring, I think. Brendan Rodgers also said today that he had a wee bit of that before the Rangers game as well, but you look at how he played in that game, it didn't seem to affect him at all. So he'll play, Carter Vickers is absolutely fine, trained as well, Scales will keep his place, uh, and Greg Taylor as well, I think they were all really, really good against Rangers. In midfield, I don't see any changes either, that's McGregor leading the team after having an international break-off for the first time in a long time. Uh, I fully expect Hatati and Bernardo to keep their places as well. I had a really interesting discussion with Chris on the live stream yesterday. If you didn't watch it, I'll link it up at the end of the video. But there's obviously this question mark with Arne Engel's arrival at the club for £11 million. Pound. Is the club's record signing? When is he going to start games? There's no rush for that. He's obviously a young player, but coming from a league like the Bundesliga for that sum of money, you expect him to start games and play a really pivotal role in the team. We need the competition. Um, we will need to rotate once these European games start and we'll need those options both from the bench um, and changing it from week to week. But I think Bernardo, since he's replaced Matt O'Reilly uh, against St Mirren, against Rangers, has barely put a foot wrong. Uh, I expect him to keep his place. There's no doubt we'll see Ingles at some point tomorrow um, and it'll be really interesting to see how it plays out in the next maybe two or three weeks. Um, because we've got so many new signings um, I love it when you get new signings and then you, you find out what they're like and you see them in their first minutes and I think now we're in, a, in lots of areas of the pitch we're in a strong position with depth and with options for Brendan Rodgers and as I say that's going to bode well when we come to these Champions League games some speculation I see on social media but could Hattati be the, the player that drops out when Engels comes in to start I don't think so I think actually Rio's started the season very very well He's got two goals to his name. I think he needs that consistency. He went away with Japan and didn't take any part in either of the two games. So he's disappointed about that. Brendan Rodgers was asked about that today. Um, he's going to work hard. He wants to work harder. And hopefully when it comes to the October international break, he can play some more minutes for Japan. But it's all about consistency for him. His season was disrupted a lot by injury last season. He's got to keep that level high and be consistent. That's the thing that will help him progress, not just for us, but if he wants to get more minutes for Japan, that's what he needs to do as well. I don't see that happening. I think Ryo Hitati, um, if he can be at a good level consistently, is absolutely uh, going to keep his place in midfield. Front three, again, I'm going no changes from the Rangers game. Kuhn on the right-hand side, Maeda on the left, and Kyogo through the middle. Um, that is the same team that I managed to get it right, by the way, the second time this season, I think. I managed to get a starting 11 right for that Rangers game. This is a team that's playing very, very well. Um, collectively and individually that seems to me like if it's not broke don't fix it don't make any changes I think the manager's obviously got lots of options and that's a good thing but while we're playing this well and we've got this rhythm I know that it's been slightly um, broken up by the international break there but I think you've got to give this team the chance to continue their positive momentum um, and I think he'll do that Kuhn was obviously um, better in the Rangers game as well I think Dyson Maida was absolutely brilliant he got my man of the match on the day the amount of work he puts in, but again, adding his, adding goals to his game, certainly in these fixtures against Rangers, gives James Tavenier absolute nightmares. I think he's so important for us in terms of setting the intensity of the defensive work the team does collectively. Um, but as I say, he seems to be getting better and he's such a cult figure for this Celtic team. Um, he would be really, really hard to replace. I know that because sometimes he lets you down in technical situations where he's got a lot of time, to think about what he has to do. Um, but I think if you were to lose Dyson Maeda, um, it wouldn't take you very long to be crying out for him because that intensity, that work rate that he brings, I've never seen a player work as hard as that um, in my time watching football, let alone watching Celtic. Um, so I think he's absolutely key for his Dyson Maeda. And Kyogo through the middle, got his first goal of the season uh, in that derby from outside the box. It was a brilliant finish, so instinctive, so aware of what was going on around him to just slot it past Butland into the bottom corner. Hearts are his favourite opponents in his entire career. Um, he's played 12 games against them. He's got 10 goals and I would back him to add to that tally tomorrow um, and if we can start games the way we have been starting them uh, so far this season and get an early goal like I say we can make it a very long and painful afternoon for Hearts let's hope we can do that that's it 
for the starting eleven. Let me know if you agree with the lineup below. Do you think any of the new signings will start? Engels, Valle, McEwen, Trusty. Let us know uh, in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back with you with the full time reaction after the game tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you.